Hey everybody, it's Cody. I just wanted to share uh, this matchbox that I did. I'm in a swap um, over in my scrap room. Uh, Lydia, she's the guest host this month. She's I Triple Dog Dare You. And her um, swap was an altered matchbox with a mini inside. And my partner is Kim, who is it? who is Creations by Kimber on YouTube. Um, this is my first Matchbox and um, my first Mini Mini. So um, let me just tell you what I did. I'm not going to post this obviously until Kim gets it, So, but I wanted to get it filmed. Um, so for the Matchbox, you had to have an image, flowers, and lace on the outside. So what I did, I, I made the matchbox, and I'll insert some pictures of it. I made it out of um, a cereal box. And the papers that I used, I'm looking to see which ones it is. Mm, Kaiser Craft Mismatch, the six and a half by six and a half paper pad. So what I did was I just took, um, you know, a sheet of the paper and cut it for the sides. Oh, I hope I'm in frame. Cut it for the sides. Um, let me see if I'm in frame. Oh, I gotta stay down here. Okay. Sorry guys. Okay. Um, and then cut it for the sides and just adhered it. Um, and I looked on YouTube, um, crud. I'll look again to see whose video I watched for the measurements for the matchbox and I'll put them in the description box. Um, so that's how I knew how to make the matchbox because it had to be the large kitchen size and I know you can go to the dollar store and get them but what am I going to do with all those matches? So I figured I'd just make it. Um, so I had to gesso all the corners first and then I should have just painted it but I used ink I used distress ink and it came out came out a funky color I don't know if you guys can tell the color um, but that's okay um, it was supposed to be shabby chic vintage anyway so after I gessoed and inked all the edges I adhered the paper and I distress and inked the edges of the paper and the majority of the color that I used was um, walnut stain. I did use some vintage photo, but the majority of it was walnut stain. Um, these are cut from the paper pack. Um, I just put some wild orchid craft flowers on there. I just, you know, ripped it a little bit and put a piece of lace underneath it. Piece of lace there. Um, just a couple little bling things there. Um, it had to have feet. So I put a different color paper on the bottom, and I just used some uh, acrylic, you know, clear beads for the feet. So there's the outside, the top, okay? And then it had to have a pull, the drawer had to have a pull, so I just used the same bead with some um, spacers and just put that in there. I'll show you how I did it. I just put it through with, a, um, oh gosh, what the heck are those things called? Oh my god, my mind just went blank. With um, one of these, you know, that's flat on the end. I can't even still think of what they're called. Anyway, that's what I used. Um, for the inside with a spacer to hold it, just poked a hole and then just put the bead on and then just, um, you know, used my round nose pliers to round the end. So that's the pull. And then again, I just used a piece of paper from the paper pad. This is the same one that's on the bottom of the outside. Um, and then I just, you know, distressed and inked this. Just put some, um, why I did the brown paint was because when I glued the paper on, 
the glue in just a couple little spots took away the gesso. It was weird. So that's why I just did the brown paint in a couple little spots. And then I just watered down some brown paint and kind of just like stained because I don't have any of those, you know, even though the, what are they, the Tim Holtz stains, those bottles. Um, so I just watered down some paint and put that in there. And that's how I did that. Okay, so that's the matchbox itself. Okay. And then the mini, you had to have, I think it was four or five pages, which could include the covers. You had to have an image, lace, and flowers. So what I did here was just three wild orchid crafts that I sprayed with my homemade spray. Just a little piece of lace, and this is a piece of, um, oh lord ladies, I'm having a hard time this evening, I must be tired, um, chiffon there. Um, just again, these are from the paper pack. Um, I used um, Stack the Deck binding, and this is just a piece of the sticky canvas um, that I put there on the outside. And then you t I just t did a tie closure, okay? So there's the front. And then you open it up. And these are just little Polaroids from the paper collection that I cut out and put there. Let me make sure I'm in frame. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. And then this, I made a little pocket here with, ooh, my paint, with a little tag there. pocket there and this playing card is from the paper pad. Little pocket there, another little pocket here that I just kind of folded a photo corner there for this pocket. And then I did one here. And all the paper is from the paper pad, the Kaiser Craft Mismatch. Okay. And then just another little pocket there. Again, this is cut from the paper pad. A little pocket here. Just put a little butterfly there. And a little pocket. A little tag. And this is just, this isn't a pocket. I, I, it's just a piece of lace that I put there and this is cut from the paper pad. I have a pocket right here. Turn the page. And then this is, um, a, you know, a waterfall, but I did it sideways. Um, just put some jute twine underneath to keep it closed, to tie it, be able to tie it shut, and you can flip it this way. To put, you know, that would be where you would put pictures or journaling or whatever. And then this is just another image from the paper pad that I cut and put there. And then the back I just left plain. And like I said, I used the, um, stack the deck, oops, stack the deck binding to put them together. I just used um, some cardstock for my pages. Uh, I think it's 90 weight or 95. I don't remember what it, what it is. Um, I don't remember. So that's what I use for the pages. I just cut them the size that I needed to fit in the matchbox and then I glued them you know, all along the outside to put them together, but I left a little bit down here without any glue, and then um, I put some glue along the hinge and then just pressed it all together. You know, I had it sitting like this, and then I just pressed it, put it on there, and pressed it all together so that it would stay on there. So that's how I got them to stay on to the binding, the hinge system. So there's my mini and the matchbox that it goes in. And again, this is for my swap over on my scrap room and my first one. And actually, I really liked it. I, I don't know, it's little and you could do a lot to it even though it's so little. So, um, but there you go. I hope Kim likes it. I hope you guys like it. And we'll see you later.